Hi there everybody, welcome back to Prestige Auctions and we've got another sneak peek video for you. What's this one about? Well, this one is all about the gaming. We've got an absolutely fabulous auction taking place uh, on the 16th of October 2024. This is not just a bidding room like a lot of our general sales, this you'll also be able to bid on the internet as well. And what is this uh, auction going to have in it? Well, the first 470 odd lots are coins and jewellery. And then we move on to some uh, minerals and gems and all sorts of things. We've got some other videos kicking around about those. And then once we've done those, we've got some militaria. And then we move on to a wonderful collection of uh, oil tins and then these old gaming items. Well, as well as having a fantastic collection of corgi uh, Corgi lorries and a load of Britain's farming toys. We've got this for the vintage retro gamer. Now, as you can see here, we have this is stuff has just come in, so we haven't had a chance to actually sort it all yet. So, how you're seeing it here, maybe the way it's sold, it may not be. It's all going to depend on, on what we do when we when we come to lot up. But as you can see here, this is one hell of a box, and this one probably will stay as it is, to be honest. Uh, of I think these are Mega Drive games. So Sega Mega Drive games, and look how many there is. All of those in that. Now, anyone that knows retro gaming knows that this stuff is getting harder and harder to get hold of, especially in this sort of condition. You know, as you can see these, these are in really good condition uh, and with the bits and bobs in the boxes as well. So that one for you, Sega Mega Drive lot. And then this one here, Super Nintendo. Now this is a modern, uh, one of the modern games consoles. Uh, and then in here, you've also got some Dreamcast games in this box. So you go Tomb Raider. And uh, what's this one we've got here? This one is Planet Ring there. And then whatever this one is here, this is a uh, Super Nintendo, is it? Nintendo 64, that's a Grand Prix game. And then also in the bottom, there's a Sega Saturn game of World Golf. Now we come over here and then we've got uh, some Game Boy stuff, some Game Boy Advances. Uh, not only have we got some units there, some actual units, we've also got some games as well in that one. Now this box was quite good because this takes me back to when I was younger. Commodore 64s and so on uh, and Spectrums and all the rest of it. Well, this, as you can see, this is a big old box and uh, there's lots of all sorts in here, lots of the old games and things there. Look at that, Outrun. Who remembers Outrun? What a great game that was. And uh, Monty on the Run and so on. But not only have you got just the, the games and things, you've also got stuff like this, you know, these discovery packs and things and uh, all sorts of other amazing Commodore bits and bobs in there. So then we come over here to this one. Now, these look very much to me like Amiga type stuff, but it could be PC, not sure. It's PC. So you've got all these PC games and things there. Now, from what we've seen in our general sales, PC games are starting to come up in value because, again, it's just the fullness of time. As everything gets chucked away, then uh, things start getting a little bit more collectible. So we come down to this one here, and this one is a Sega Mega Drive uh, with controllers and power pack and all the rest of it. So that's quite a good lot as well. And then this one here, this one will potentially be split into a couple of lots, I would have thought. So these are the GameCube games. Now, anyone knows that the GameCube games have become very collectible these days. So uh, I'm not quite sure if there's any rare ones in there. Maybe you could tell me in the comments or maybe you won't because you'll want to bid on them. But uh, there you go. So you've got a, a one hell of a box at the moment of... Um, GameCube games, but as I say, I would imagine that will be cut down into two or maybe even three lots. So that one is quite a nice box full there. Then when you come here, more uh, retro gaming. And so what we've got here, these are for spec the Spectrum 48 and the 128. So does that mean they're a disc? If it's the Spectrum 128, it should be a disc, is it? I know it's cassette still. So you maybe could put that into there as well. Um, SimCity, um, number one bestsellers and then you come down here and you can see you've got absolutely all sorts of fantastic old stuff in these boxes so these are well worth bidding on uh because you're going to find all sorts in there oh and then here we are is this what we've got here this is an amiga uh, 520 st now amigas back in the day was one of my favorite consoles when these came out 
they had these these sort of discs that you put in the side that was a lot faster they loaded really quick and that made gaming a lot better a lot more fun than sitting watching a cassette load for hours and hours or what felt like hours for then to get to the end and maybe not even work which was really frustrating so we come here and then we're going right back in time now to the early 80s and of course this is a commodore 64 i believe uh with the cassette and uh, the user manual and look at that i mean you kids don't know you're born these days look at that for an old joystick hey <laughs> that would have been state of the art once that joypad there joypad what am i talking about moving on a few years and then so you've got all that uh the commodore 64 stuff there and then a zx spectrum plus two uh again with power pack i believe there and a joystick so there you go commodore zx spectrum plus two always popular and then this one here is a box of more games so you can see there are lots and lots of games in this one uh, and i would say well worth a bid as always with uh, all this stuff and then we come here oh, i remember these are the uh, all these various cassette games that you got these was the ones that you used to have to sit and wait for them to load up and then just hope that when it got to the end that the, the game actually played and then this beachhead i remember that game and uh, all these games here as well connect 4 ace 2 and uh, and all the rest of it this and this ninja game these are uh, proper old classic games now that are well worth a look at so there you go it's, it's a, there's a lot of gaming again in this auction and i think there's going to be more uh, in fact i'm just going to show you this shelf here as well and uh, see what's up here because even though it's not gaming as such you've got the star wars figures this, and some of these star wars episode one stuff and then space shuttles and what have you and uh and some a, a matchbox collector's box there as well for you die cast enthusiasts and then this here well that's a marvel eternal set now look how good that is and then what you will find in a lot of these a lot of these uh online sales that we do a lot of the stuff that comes in is virtually brand new so you get some really good stuff there then you come down here you've got subutio and subutio collectible bits so there you go it was mainly about the gaming but we showed you a few extras as well oh but it wouldn't be better good if i didn't show you one of these so if you're a star wars fan How cool is that? These aren't like the cheap ones. These are the ones that you plug in USB and uh, and then actually, uh, oh, change color. I've gone green. What other colors have we got? Oh, red as well. So you can see these ones are a much better quality uh, than the, the sort of cheap ones that you can buy. But I can tell you, there are one, two, three, there are six of those in the sale so that's good we're looking forward to this one uh, if you have enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up um, and then uh, also if you want to look at the other videos that we've got coming up that we're going to be showing you lots of other stuff like all this tcr stuff and uh, some of the railway stuff we've got in here as well if you want to see all that then hit the notification bell hit that subscribe button maybe leave a comment saying what your favorite game was back in the day and uh, we will come back to you the best we can in the comments and uh, we'll catch you all at the next video.